Picasso is a big influence on, not on my art, but he's my favorite painter of all times, bar none. Brock, big favorite. A lot of early paintings, very influenced by Brock. Chagall, to some extent. El Greco. They say art's all about what an artist makes you see. And in Huntsville, Texas, a group of people have gathered together in a gallery to see one man's work. This is one of the very first uh, paintings I did here when I got back from France. From adorned owls to seamen by the seashore, room after room is filled with David Attic's pieces. And each canvas shares a story told by a man who's been an artist his entire life. But we'll go into the next room, which goes back to the beginning of my career. When I was in high school, I was the one that made the posters because I was neat, I could print better than other people. Oh, and our play that we produced here, I did the posters for that and it was put in a drugstore, you know, that kind of stuff. So in high school, I was doing that kind of stuff, but not very seriously. Well, a few years and paintings later, and David had turned his passion into a career. He's known for his own unique style, often creating peculiar portraits of tall, lanky men and women with unusually sharp features. All the work of a man who says he's a French artist from Texas. You are a, a an artist from Texas, but you are not a yeah. Texas I'm artist. I'm not. I'm Yeah. Well, Jim Michener said that. He said, "I just come from Texas, but I'm not a Texan. I'm a I'm a French artist." If any, if you had to really put geography, Paris influenced me more than any other place in the world. I'll say that. When I was living there, one of my best friends was a fashion photographer in America, and I used to work with him. So I really learned to like that model look, the fashion model look. The French culture may have molded David, but it wasn't what fully shaped his career. Eventually, he took to sculpting, and although he's made some stunning pieces in his day, there's one that stands above the rest. There you have, voila, a French village with a little boat. Even though you're not considered to be a, a, a Texas artist, of, of, of all of the, uh, the iconic Texas images. Yeah. You're almost personal friends with Sam. I grew up in Huntsville. Sam Houston was in my DNA, basically. He was buried here. Sam Houston Park, when I was a kid, played. Everything was Sam Houston, Sam Houston. Yeah, Sam Houston to me was a great man, a great statesman, a great everything. After creating the world's tallest statue of an American hero, David went on a more political path. For years now, he's been cementing our president's roles in history with giant concrete heads that reside at his studio in Houston. And all the while, he's never stopped painting. Lately, though, it's his new art gallery that's been getting all his attention. So, David, what is this place? Well, this was my high school. The auditorium <laughs> was here. Uh, they were going to tear this building down because they'd outgrown its usefulness. It was demoted to junior high, then to school for bad kids. And you, you bought your old high I school? I bought the high school. Yeah, they were going to bulldoze it and it cost a lot of money. And so somebody said, why don't we sell it? You know, when I heard that, I raced up to Houston. <laughs> I bet you did. It never exceeding 65 miles an hour and bought it right on the spot. Never one to walk away from a creative venture. David saw more than just a chance to purchase a building to house his paintings. Instead, he saw an opportunity to tell his story from a place where he's had so many fond memories. I couldn't stand to see them tear it down because it's a pretty building. I graduated from high school here and we learned to jitterbug in that room right there in the gym. And those memories, Friday night dancing, will always be with me. And to save those memories and the place where it happened was worth saving this high school for that. Art can be many things and many things can be art. 
It can take the form of various mediums and be shown in different venues, but one thing always rings true. Behind every painting or statue is someone with a passion for what he does, and that's something David Attucks will continue to show the world for as long as he can. That's another sort of abstract view of the same play. Do you have a, a, a secret of, of some sort? I mean, you're, you run around this place like a spring chicken. I mean, you're, you're no longer, we're no longer young men. I'm 89. You know, I was born when Calvin Coolidge was president. Can you, not many people can make that statement. Uh, good genes, I suppose. Wranglers, uh, <laughs> Levi's. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I think doing, liking what I do is a lot of it. Uh, I'll never retire, that's not possible. You'll do this forever? Art? Uh, until I drop dead, yeah. It's what I like to do.